Hey there, it's Jenny with the Wallet Group, Keller Williams Realty. Tulsa looks good on you. Tulsa also looks amazing on Nick Guajardo with tacos and mezcal or mezcal or tacos. <laughs> we're just teasing about how we're not really quite sure. Whatever your brain says or sees when you see the awesome restaurant that they've got going on down at 18th and Boston is what you get to call it, right, Nick? Absolutely, absolutely. It can be TXMZ, tacos, mezcal. Tacos by Mezcal. So, yeah. No, no matter what you call it, I call it delicious because I'm a frequent uh, uh, consumer of all the things that you guys offer. So, just share with everyone who you are, what you got going on, and how we can find you and eat up some yummy fundido. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for thanks for having me on this, Jenny. It's it's great to speak with you, and you're a you're a, a a loyal customer. We love having you in the restaurant. You're just bringing great energy. So a little background on us. We, um, my, my kind of background in, in the working realm of life had been in sales. I worked in uh, medical sales for, a, for a bit. And my father for a long time worked as a franchise owner for different concepts, taking them international, working, um, with having these concepts here in Tulsa. And he's now been working as a developer, um, a hotel and resort developer in Mexico. And so we were raised my whole life was six months in Tulsa, six months in Mexico. So it was always going back and forth um, because of my dad's work. And um, about three and a half years ago, my dad and I were sitting down. I was working with my uh, previous company and I was talking to him. I was like, I, I want to do something of our own, something that we could do really well. And, um, I want to do it here in Tulsa. And we were just talking about a bunch of different ideas. And one of the ideas that we had, what, what, that we thought was missing for Tulsa was just a, a great authentic street food, like Mexican street food restaurant. Right. Um, there's, there's, there are a lot of great restaurants here in Tulsa, but sometimes we were at the time in South Tulsa when we would come back home. So it was just kind of hard. There's a lot of Tex-Mex, but we we're having trouble finding what we would eat when we were in Mexico. And so we had this conversation, you know, we kept this conversation for, it was about three years, kind of on and off, talking through ideas, talking through concepts, talking through what the execution would look like. And then uh, a close friend of mine and, and a close friend of my dad, who's our head chef for all our brands we do, his name is Chef Sebastian Rinner. And he's a very unique guy because he's a, he's born, was born in Mexico. His mother's from Lebanon. His father's from Germany. So he's, he has this European touch to him. He's been raised in Mexico and in Germany his whole life, um, speaks several different languages, but his passion is food. He just loves cooking. He loves the, the whole process around that. And so he worked in fine dining. Chef Sebastian worked in fine dining for Michelin star chefs throughout Europe, in Mexico City, New York City, worked in China for a long time, and then moved back to our little hometown where we're playing it now. It's called Punta de Mita, P-U-N-T-A de Mita. And we all reconnected. And I'm a big surfer. I love to surf. I love the ocean. Chef Sebastian's the same way. So we all reconnected. And we cast this idea. We're like, look, we want to do a fun street food concept in Tulsa. He had never heard of Tulsa. And he was like, Where, where's Tulsa? I don't even know where that is. And so we ended up just discussing things over time. And he ended up developing a very specific menu for Tacos Mezcal or Tacos by Mezcal. And, um, you know, he's wanting to do some more stuff in Tulsa. He's visited several times, seeing the food scene here. And he loves the food scene here. And so um, that's kind of how we got started. And, you know, get from just the, having those discussions to getting open was a whole nother journey in regards to, you know, it, we were going through COVID at the time and dealing with all kinds of, you know, just there's all kinds of things that were popping up. And um, so it was about a year and a half process of just grinding on this location just to be able to get it open. And there was a moment, I remember talking to my father and our partners and I was, I was like, did we make the right decision? And, the, and everyone kind of had that kind of pause a little bit because COVID had just hit and it was looking like everything was closed for life. Right. And so, um, so we just, we just decided to stay with it and we just kept working on it. And we finally found this kind of sweet spot um, in March of last year, 2021. 
and we were seeing things were starting to loosen up a little bit and we were like let's let's get this open and so what we serve at tacos by mezcal or txmz is traditional mexican street food with a fun gourmet twist to it and so that and that's kind of chef sebastian's signature his kind of his that's what he wanted to do with the menu and so um i'm i'm so happy about the menu i love what what he's done and we have an amazing kitchen team, all Mexican, all from Mexico, and they've been working in the restaurant industry, you know, um, each over 20 years. And so they're talented cooks. They're the talent. We have a, our talented chef who works in this location named Chef Victor, um, and he's the one that runs this location. And so, yeah, it's been it's been it's been quite a journey. It's been a learning process, but it's been fun. So I'll just kind of throw in some of my favorite things that I love about your restaurant is I am a person who likes different bites of different things. And so it's almost can be eaten like tapas where you have, you know, one taco and let me see how I feel after that. I'm going to order a couple more and -hmm. you can kind of move through the menu that way. Another thing is you kind of got some yummy drinks. So where do all those uh, recipes and uh, ingredients come from? Yes. Oh, yeah. And that's a great point you said on the food side, the tapas side. And that was that was very intentional why we did that, because one thing growing up in Mexico, you see the portion size of food that you get is usually it's, you, it's just different. It's and things are not as you, you can go to any restaurant in the U.S. and get massively full. And we want our people to get full, of course, that's that's for sure. But we also wanted it to be a. a to reflect a little bit more of what it's like on the streets of Mexico, or if you're in Mexico City or Guadalajara, what that process likes, what what it looks like when you're getting food. And so um, that was very intentional. And then on the on the drink side of things, so what we decided to do there is our um, general man. He's now our general manager. He's our lead mixologist. He's also our lead bartender in there. Um, his name's Stephen Garcia, and he is from Puerto Rico. Uh, moved here about a year and a half ago. And he is the, he's the brains and the genius behind our whole menu. And so he's a, um, I, I mean, he just blows me away with his skills and his talents around it, but his passion around it is really amazing. So with all our margaritas, with all our cocktails, one thing that I was discussing with him, I said, look, when I go on vacation to Mexico, or if I go on vacation in general, and I get a margarita or a cocktail, if I'm in a nicer resort area, the drinks taste night and day different, different. And it's not, I don't think it's just the liquor that's making it taste different. What's, what, what are we doing wrong here? Yeah. And so we, we did some research and what, one of the main things that we noticed is everything, we got to do everything house juiced. So it's fresh juice. So the morning of, so we, our staff comes in in the morning, uh, some of our kitchen staff and they're just juicing limes, oranges, Mm-hmm. Um, the only thing that we use for right now due to just seasonality is, uh, uh some, uh, a dollop of, uh, some mango puree for mm-hmm. our drink now, but normally that's fresh juice too. And so that was very important that we do that. We do that with our hibiscus mint. You know, we, 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 we the process in that is, it's been pretty intense for our team in the morning because it is a process, but it just elevates the drink. And so. You can taste the the liquor better. You can taste the flavors of whatever you're drinking, whether it's apple or a spicy pina. And so that was our whole vision behind it was let's do house juiced cocktails, house juiced margaritas, and make all, all our syrups house made. And so that's what we've done. That's the, really the only thing that we've done to switch it up. And then Steven's in charge. He, he creates the different recipes and the, the different concoctions and all, all the fun different drinks, especially as spring and summer start to come. We're going to have, we'll we'll be releasing new margaritas almost every week. Well, I can't wait. And I, um, being a lifelong Tulsa, I have seen lots of places, uh, businesses come and go from that spot. And I'm just so proud of you guys for taking what's been like a dirty bar in the past and making it so pretty and clean and comfy. You really feel community in there, the way that it's set up. And of course, I love a patio. So dang, get here spring so we can sit out on the patio and have margaritas. I know, I couldn't agree more. I'm ready for (laughs) spring. (laughs) Well, thank you so much for hanging out. I'll have to get down there in person and uh, meet you to say hello. And thanks for bringing such good stuff to Midtown, downtown Tulsa area, because we all like some good food and we appreciate you so much. 
thank you, Jenny. We, we, we appreciate you. We, we, we love having you in. So thanks for, thanks for, for doing this. Well, Nick, tell everyone before we go, what's the best way to follow you guys, find you guys. Of course, uh, you're located near 18th or at 18th in Boston, almost exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, your social media is awesome. So is that the best place for people to find you? Yeah, I would suggest for people to follow us if they have an Instagram, follow us on Instagram. The same information is being posted on our Facebook. So either Instagram or Facebook we are great social pages to follow us on. Our address here, we're at 39 East, 39 East 18th Street. So if you're familiar with Delessandro's or Mercury Bar and Lounge, um, th those are, you can find us. We're right next to them. So yeah, we're, yeah. we're kind of right at the end of of Sobo. So yeah. I love it. Well, thanks so much, Nick. And we'll talk to you real soon. Have a good day. All right. Thank you. Have a good okay, one. Bye. See ya.